So palliative care is a new medical specialty which is about trying to make sure that all these added years that we're getting thanks to modern medicine are worth having. So palliative care uh, doctors, nurses, and social workers focus on the pain, symptoms, and stress of a serious illness, focus on the family caregiver because they're often struggling right along with the patient and work alongside at the same time as the patient's regular doctors to provide an added layer of support. Again, the goal is to get the best possible quality of life while people are living with one or more serious illnesses. People who are trained in palliative care learn how to ask questions. We listen more than we talk. And so the sorts of questions we would ask are, for example, tell me what you think I need to know about you in order to take the best possible care of you. And you'd be surprised of how rarely the answer to that question is anything medical. It's family issues, it's worries about legacy, it's worries about forgiveness and relationships, it's worries about meaning and purpose and still being able to make a contribution, fear of not being able to make a contribution. It's much more existential and spiritual than it is medical when you ask those kinds of questions. Nowadays, if, if we live to age 65, on average, we're gonna live another 18 years. And if you make it to 75, on average, you're gonna live at least another 12 years. So the average person can expect to live well into their 80s nowadays. This is unprecedented in human history. So what modern medicine needs to do is have the caring catch up to the technology. Places like Aegis here are really at the cutting edge or the vanguard of thinking about what, what is a decent quality of life for somebody in their 80s or 90s. And so places like this, and I mean, this, it's a beautiful spot I walk in, there's art everywhere, there's music playing, um, there's books everywhere, there's really good food, there's company, so you're not alone, there's a community. Um, I walked in here and thought, boy, I'm ready to move in here. Mm -hmm.